For today's video, I wanted to do a demo and also somewhat like first impression slash review of the Gency Beauty, their mascara, and then also their brow gel. Also, if you hear a little bit of ringing or a bell sound in the background, that's my kitten walking around. I just got a kitten. Gen Z products are ophthalmologist tested and they're also vegan and cruelty free in case you aren't familiar with the brand. I've done a video about their lipsticks before if you're interested in checking that out. So starting off with their mascara. So this is called their Spectator Sport Mascara. This retails for $23 and I have already used this already. So this one I wouldn't really say is a first impression because I have been testing this out. Also, I should put a little disclaimer. Both of these were super kindly gifted to me by Gen Z Beauty but there is no obligation to post and they don't even know that I'm making this video. So first I'm gonna go ahead and just curl my eyelashes real quick with the Plume Eyelash Curler. This is my favorite eyelash curler. One thing that really stood out to me about this mascara from the bat is the shape of it. It kind of has that like hourglass shape, kind of if you're familiar with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I feel like this wand kind of has a similar shape to it. But their claims about this is that it is supposed to help with lengthening, curling, separating, and adding volume. It's supposed to be easy to remove. It says that it won't budge. It's water resistant. And according to many of Gen Sears, it passes the sweaty workout test with flying colors. So that I get why they're calling it their sport mascara because it is supposed to handle well if you want to wear mascara and work out or if you just sweat. So maybe something that would be good for summer, kind of like waterproof type. I mean, it says it's water resistant, not waterproof. Can kind of help with that. I mean, immediately, I just love how this makes my lashes look. It looks, even just with a light layer, if I didn't want to build it up more, it just looks really pretty and wispy and it doesn't clump, which I personally don't really like that like clumping look. I know some people kind of like that look. Ooh, this one lash. You could definitely build it up if you want more volume too, or if you want just a more intense mascara look, but I really love just a simple like wispy look. Now I haven't had issues with this smudging, so I feel like when they say it's budge proof, I'd say probably yes to an extent. However, I have not tested this, you know, in the summer. I haven't tested this when I've gotten sweaty. I haven't tested this to see how it would kind of respond in those kind of conditions. So I don't know if it is budge proof if you do get sweaty or if you, you know, get, say you were to like jump in a pool. Cause again, you know, it's not waterproof. It's just supposed to be water resistant. So I can't really give my thoughts on if you were to wear it when you're working out, if it's gonna smudge or not. I haven't worn it when I've worked out before, but I can tell you how it has worked just for kind of like day-to-day -day wear. I do really like this. I also feel like it does a nice job at kind of lifting my lashes as well. My lashes have a hard time staying curled, but with this, I feel like even with just uh, curling and then applying it, it definitely does kind of lift my lashes a bit. I feel like every time, like for a lot of other mascaras, my lashes will just curl straight down after applying the mascara, but a lot of times I do like to go in again and use the eyelash curler, which I know that's kind of like a no-no because -no people are scared that it can like pull out your eyelashes. But I do that sometimes when I want to add a bit more curl just because, you know, my lashes don't stay super curly. As you can see, my lashes still look a bit lifted, but I could definitely go for using the curler one more time just to really lift them up even more. Um, but I love how this looks. I honestly have not found a mascara that I have really, really enjoyed in a while. I feel like my favorites are like the Ilia Beauty Limitless Lash Mascara. That's a favorite of mine. I like the um, the Rare Beauty Mascara. I absolutely love that one. And I do like the Kosas one. I would say that one I don't go for as often, but I do like that one. The Ilia Fullest Volume Mascara is also a good one, but like I haven't found like a new clean beauty mascara that I've liked I mean in a, in a while I feel like this one is really really nice you could definitely also build it up if you want I need one of those like mascara like other brushes where you can kind of like get out the clumps I need to get one of those so you can see here now how you can really build it up obviously it kind of looks a little bit clumpy now um, but you can definitely keep brushing through it to kind of get rid of those clumps but 
hopefully this is kind of showing that you can definitely build this up if you want to. Just with that second coat, it definitely helped to lift the lashes even more. For day-to-day -day wear, I have really been liking this. This has definitely been a new favorite of mine. It's really, really nice. I really like the shape of the wand. I feel like this shape wand tends to work really well for me. Again, I haven't had issues with this smudging throughout the day. Um, and you know, if I do use go in a second time with a curler after this is kind of dried, then I find that my lashes do stay lifted pretty well throughout the day and that's not the case for all mascaras even you know when I am using an eyelash curler so then this is their arch support brow powder gel I have this in the shade taupe 01 this retails for $22 this says arch support is a brow powder gel that goes on easily for fuller natural looking groomed brows with both color and hold it's a two-in-one replacing a separate pencil and gel all day hold with no crunchy gel feel arch support creates brows that frame your eyes and your face beautifully also they put a little note saying that the tube for this product is small because they aim to keep packaging to a minimum for sustainability reasons. However, the fill weight, the amount of the product in the tube is on par with similar products. So that's something to note. This does have 0.11 fluid ounces. So I actually really like the sides of this. I feel like it's great for traveling and just like not taking up a lot of space in like your makeup drawer or a makeup bag. So this is actually going to be a first impressions. This applicator is really nice and small. So I feel like this is going to be great for getting a really nice and like precise application. Let's do it. Okay, so yeah, I can definitely see uh, where they're going with the name of this saying it's like a powder gel. It's definitely like a lot more dry than like other like gel oh no it's definitely more like dry than other like brow gels that i have tried but i actually really like that it definitely gives it like a powdery look and i see what they're saying by like kind of combining like um a brow pencil and a brow gel in one something that's going to kind of give that like brow pencil or powder look but then also kind of be like a brow gel where it helps to keep your brows in place I also like the color of this. I feel like maybe it almost feels slightly dark for me, but I don't know. You guys let me know. I And this is the lightest color that they have. I feel like it's a little bit darker than other taupe brow shades that I have tried, but also maybe I just applied it with um, too much of a heavy hand potentially, but I do really like how this applies and I'm surprised. I feel like I have not tried like a brow gel like this that has like a powdery finish like this before. So definitely something different and this applicator being so small is definitely really, really helpful for having a more precise application. They definitely feel like they're in place too. When you touch it, it kind of has like a little bit of like a waxy almost feeling, waxy powdery feeling, but in a way where I feel like this is really going to help to kind of stay in place all day. I definitely want to like brush through my brows with just a plain spoolie just to really brush it out even more so i'm gonna go do that and be right back so i have the kosas brow pencil i'm just gonna take this spoolie side and just brush through my brows because i kind of want to just like disperse the product a little bit more um and maybe get rid of a little bit of the the harshness because I, again i feel like the shade is like slightly darker than what i normally go for so there it is do like this i feel like the only thing i would change is Kind of wishing that maybe they could come out with like, like a slightly lighter taupe color something more for like um people with blonde hair though honestly i have definitely have some brown in my hair but yeah i think i would like maybe a little bit of a lighter color but other than that i like it i think that both of these are wins this is like different than a brow gel that i have used before with that powdery finish so that's really cool i feel like this is something i'm definitely going to be using more and this mascara i already know that i like um so yeah these are wins for me. Good job, Gen C Beauty. I'm super excited to see what other products they come out with in the future. If you guys are interested in checking either of these products out, I will have them both listed and linked in the description box below. And if you are new to this channel and are not subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video.